all right so welcome back to some more apex i hope you guys are having a very good day as always and usually i don't post any videos on sundays sundays are usually my day off but today we hit 10k subs and it just happened to take place on a sunday so by rights i obviously have to make a video and bring you guys some content today because 10k to me is a very very big deal i always wanted to reach 10k one day and the fact that we actually hit 10k so quickly is even more crazy so thank you guys so much for all of the recent support 10k is is a very big number and to think that 10,000 people actually click subscribe is is amazing so thank you guys again for all of the support I'm in the process of finalizing the giveaway for you guys so if you want to be fully updated with that the best thing to do is either join my discord server or just follow me on Twitter because I do like update you guys on those platforms so if you want to be in the know with my giveaway follow me on Twitter or join my discord server all of those links will be in the description down below but yeah a giveaway will be coming very very soon to just like give back to you guys and show you guys how i'm very appreciative of all of this love so expect that very soon now in today's video i'm going to be talking about some recent announcements in terms of of apex and i'm also going to be talking about valorant obviously valorant is a brand new game it hasn't even been released as yet but the hype for this game is crazy like this game just basically did its reveal on twitch and I think it almost reached 1 million viewers actually watching all of those Twitch channels. So Valorant is a very big deal. The hype is insane. And I'm going to be talking about how Valorant is also going to be affecting Apex in this video. But first, let's take a look at today's play of the day. And this play of the day is actually very insane. Like this was a crazy clip. So I'm going to show you guys the full clip. And it was a very just, it was so fun to play. So this is the play of the day. If you guys want to be in my next play of the day next week, Saturday, all you have to do is follow me on twitter send me your clips and i'll choose the best one so good luck to you guys and here's today's play of the day Alright, so let's start things off with Valorant. If you guys for some reason don't know what Valorant is, you're living under a rock. Basically, it's a very big game right now. It's a very hyped up game as well. And it's being made by Riot Games. Riot Games obviously made one of the biggest games in history, League of Legends. So the hype behind this first person competitive arena style game by Riot is insane. Now the reason why Apex is always in any discussion when talking about Valorant is because Valorant appeals to many pro apex players right now and riot games is also actively targeting the apex fan base because obviously it's a brand new game and they want to get those fans for themselves so many apex pro players were doing their valorant gameplay reveals on twitch and a lot of them actually threatened i would say to leave apex and completely you know just go and and, and focus on valorant when it releases now this might scare some of you guys and you guys might wonder about the future of apex like is valorant going to kill apex and honestly guys the truth is i don't think so because valorant and apex are both very 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 different games the whole feel of apex the whole vibe of apex is just very different from valorant it's, it's obviously a battle royale game as well so they're in completely two different markets but for some reason valorant still appeals to many apex pro players right so what i'm actually thinking is that apex isn't gonna die because of valorant i can just see the pc side of apex the pro side of apex taking a big hit 
if Valorant is successful. The main issue with pro players and Apex is that they don't really see the need to like invest a lot of time into Apex because of the current state of the game and the pro circuit. So because Riot Games has so much experience with making a very good competitive game, obviously League of Legends, right? They know how to actually do these things and like host tournaments and stuff. Because they're very good at that, Many Apex players, many Apex Pro players, my bad, see the appeal in moving to Valorant. So that's basically what's going on with Apex and Valorant right now. I don't think that Valorant will completely kill out Apex. I could bet Respawn is going to try to improve the game and bring more features and stuff. But I do still think that Apex might take a very big hit, you know, if Valorant becomes a very big game. So what do you guys think of Valorant and Apex? Comment down below. Now on the topic of brand new features coming into Apex, Respawn dropped a bombshell recently like they basically were talking about solos and if they would ever actually add solos into Apex. Now I read my comments right, I read you guys' comments and stuff and I know that some of you guys don't want to see solos in Apex because it's not meant for Apex and I understand that, I respect that opinion as well, I just personally believe that every single game should give you the option to play how you want to play. That's just my belief. I think every battle royale game should have solos, duos and squads, but here's what Respawn had to say about that. So Josh Medina who is a producer at Respawn, he responded to a tweet asking about solos and here's what he said. We've said it before but solos isn't healthy for the game. So that right there should answer every single question about if solos will be making its way into Apex. It looks like Respawn doesn't think that solos is the right fit for Apex so most likely it won't be coming into Apex anytime soon. He also said the day Data we gather is key and you can't only rely on Reddit and Twitter as the conclusive data points. And this basically means that Respawn is seeing data that says that people are not really excited or don't really want solos that much in Apex. So I'm not sure how data would actually prove that but I'm just gonna take Respawn's word and believe them. So yeah, most likely solos would not be coming in Apex anytime soon. For you guys who wanted to see solos, I'm sorry because I wanted to see solos as well but at least we're getting duos which is which is good right so yeah that's that. Now Josh Medina also addressed the loot in King's Canyon. As we all know the loot in King's Canyon right now is nowhere near as good as World's Edge. There just always seems to be less loot on the map in King's Canyon right? But Josh Medina said in a tweet he was actually responding to Nicewig. He said that the loot density in King's Canyon should improve in Tuesday's patch. So for any of you guys who have just been frustrated trying to find good loot on King's Canyon, hopefully after the patch on Tuesday that issue should be fixed. But that's basically it for this video guys. What do you think of Valorant? What do you think of Solos not coming into Apex? And what do you think of King's Canyon finally getting some good loot? Comment down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in some more Apex. Oh yeah and thanks for 10k again. That's good.